Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to the vlog. I think you can see where this one's going already. Yes, quite a job. We've got plenty of rollers and we have a brewery that is upside down. All this floor area has been prepared. It's looking well scratched up all the way around here in the kitchen area. Some little repairs over there. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's going to be a big job today. So all of this was done yesterday. And today's job is to sweep and vac the whole area. Got the little section under the gantry as well. He's doing. So we've got to remove all the dust from the floor, which is quite a mammoth task. This is the biggest area to do. And then we're going to apply a coat of primer and also provide somehow a means of access for me to get from A to B. I need to get into the workshop and out of the workshop today. So I'm going to have to walk down this little blue edge section here. And then we might just have to leave a little bit of a rat run across here. While the, the primer cures, and then come back to that section afterwards, I don't know. It's going to be a little bit tricky, in all honesty. So, we're going to play it by ear, but I thought I'd get a few before shots, and then we'll come back and get a few after shots. And of course, the after shots are only just going to, you're only going to see the primer go down today. You're not going to see the resin go down. But it's quite durable and hard wearing. That up there has been uh, been used quite regularly for a few days now. And it seems to be holding out. So here's the resin. I'm going to get this stuff down. Got some non-slip additive as well just to make sure that we're not skidding all over the place. So yeah, next phase. Hopefully this will be the last time we have to do anything like this. In terms of coating the floor, then we can push everything back, get a second cold room built, or second row of cold rooms built, and we can start brewing again, ready for opening next week. Of course, that beer won't be ready for next week, but the uh, getting the getting the brewery geared up to brew again is the next stage, I think. Oh my goodness, folks! It's been a long day, and uh, I've only just pulled the camera out apart from this morning's quick little chat so I'm on my way home actually I'll just run through what we've done so you can all see where we are with it all so I've still got some work to do back here and then when I've done that Stuart's going to clean this floor up I've got to put some grout on these tiles before anyone says anything these are 145 mil tiles these are 150 so they're not going to line up which kind of does get your OCD going a little bit, but what do you do? I'm not trimming five mil off each one of them tiles. Fuck that. Um, along the back, I've got a waste pipe and a hot and a cold water feed to run across because I've decided after all the playing around that we've done that uh, I want... We've got a meat prep table over there and the hand wash sink over here with the new cupboard which I've fitted today, yesterday even. I want there to be a meat a hand wash station over at the meat prep area as well so nobody has to walk past all this cooking equipment and the prep table to wash their hands. So this table here is ideal for that I think and this is going to go into that corner. It has a sink already when we're using it for the slops from the glasses but to be honest there's an empty sink there anyway. That's the dishwash, that's the rinse. And the draining board so kind of doesn't make any sense having just another little sink there which is 99% covered up by um, glass trays that go in the glass washer so I've taken the meat table out and we pulled it over here I've cut the edging off and I bent it over and then uh, welded it back up in that corner and I bent it over so it now runs down into this sink so if there's any drips out of glasses they can just go straight directly in to the sink it's kind of 
more luck than judgment that that worked out there folks so the glass wash is on there now tidied all the pipe work up underneath it looks really kind of swish and then over this way this meat sink now has a hand wash on it is going to go and live in that corner and then uh, you can clean your hands after you've been handling chicken and all that kind of jazz so I need to run a 32 mil waste along this wall and then along this wall and then that's going to come into here and it's going to tee onto this junction just got to get the multi-tool out and cut a hole into the side of there got a couple of tees ready to go for the for the water and then I also need to think about putting another uh, blue roll dispenser over there as well but that shouldn't be much of a problem so let's go and have a look at what we've done in the brewery and then I'm going to go home shiny 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 floor all the way down yonder so this has had its uh, prep coat I'll just go under here this is all of the um, the primer so I've put a nice thick application of primer down it really does bring the floor up nicely doesn't it the concrete after we've prepped it and then all the way down into the kitchen that's our access to the workshop and then across here in the kitchen area done as well the, this unit has not had this treatment for the floor has not had this treatment I don't think ever and apart from the cracks and that kind of stuff which I'm gonna come back actually I'm going to fill like a pot noodle tub up with a bit of resin and I'm going to pour it into these cracks and just let it self level and fill and if I persist and keep doing that over the months to come I think all of the divots and potholes and things like this look this is the new floor and this is a kind of crackage that I'm talking about so it's got paint in it but it's sealed it's done its job it's perfectly good but it's lower you know so it's a trap for water and dust so if we just keep coming back and teaming a little bit of resin into there clean it out prep it dry it put a bit of resin in eventually we'll be able to fill these cracks with resin because trying to fill it with cement was it's just a waste of time because it just makes a mess you can see like this is a patch of cement here look it doesn't really work does it so that's not the approach I'm going to take this time and eventually if that cement isn't sealed to the floor with the weight of like the pallet truck going over it or something like that it cracks the cement underneath because it's only a really tiny thin layer and it brings the paint up with it whereas if we just fill it up with high build resin then it's just not going to break at all it's kind of made to fit the hole so to speak right I've dived under there's all the rest of the resin look ready to go and there's quite a lot there I've over ordered so we can come back and do some extra coats in front of the boil kettle and everything else where it's quite kind of hard wearing but that's it folks we're getting closer today is Wednesday and uh, we're opening in seven days can you believe it Right, friggin' right. I'll see you on the next one, boys and girls. Cheers.